Galactic Federation Report, January 10, 2023 Hello, my friends, thank you for being here with me again, I hope you are all doing very well. I am Marie. This information can be seen as science fiction, or as the viewer sees best, and I post it for entertainment purposes only. Still, I take my information very seriously, and for whoever has eyes to see. In this kind of video, and the last one especially, I must use human terminology and names wherever they may be necessary to make myself understood by all of you, and this is a constant everywhere because I have no other choice, I say this only for you to have this in mind as I go on. First of all, if you are new here, and to my channel, I'd advise you to watch my other videos about this subject, I will place links to some of them on your screen above to your right, around now. Important news, Elon Musk's project has scared the government and big... Official intelligence software is the first of it. Several large starships of the Orion Council have arrived at Earth's high orbit, officially here to witness the Atorthan detachment and its audit, watch over, or whatever. I must stress that this is not an invasion force, it is only a very large multiple Orion race diplomatic group, at least officially as we are all suspicious of other intentions, as you know. And although the races are known, we decided it is best not to publish them, at least for now, as it is best to be prudent at this time. For that same reason, I must omit other names, those of known people and Earth politicians. There has been intense activity in and all around Antarctica in the past few days, and continues until today. Intense air traffic of private jets is detected, military aircraft, and countless starships moving in and out of the area, and this is even corroborated by eyewitnesses from the ground in the southern hemisphere who have detected almost swarms of starships in formation at high altitudes, coming from, or exiting Antarctica and moving north. Although we don't have a direct line of sight to Antarctica's region because our orbit is more equatorial, space traffic control keeps our navigation department on our control bridge informed with the positions of all starships close enough to us especially to avoid a collision, and through that system, we can see that the air and space traffic towards Antarctica is very intense, both towards and exiting it as well. All aircraft, including starships, and of whatever race, use an identity transmitter called a transponder, that serves others to be able to know who is who, flight path, destination and so on. Our navigation center on Talika's bridge indicates that most of those starships entering and exiting Antarctica are Alfreton, Centauri, although an increasing number have Orion Council identification codes. I just received confirmation that the Atorthan detachment has been holding meetings in deep Antarctica with world and cabal leaders, using remote presence technology. This means as a high-definition 3D hologram and not in person, yet there is a very important meeting scheduled for this weekend, where the Atorthan decided to attend in physical. It is pertinent to say that the United Nations Secretary General and the Chilean President have been traveling to Antarctica since November 2023, although it is officially stated that only once. The Galactic Federation officially stated that the subjects for the Antarctica meetings and audits are media and communications, including artificial intelligence, climate change, energy management and delivery of world resources, health and food supply chains, and global power distribution through government controlling societies. Furthermore, the Atorthan detachment who represents the higher galactic federation, whoever those may be, because no one knows and no one is telling, has been systematically asking for meetings with the representatives of each star race that is in Earth's orbit at this time, all which have complied, 
they have all gone to talk to the Atorthans in the biosphere ship Viera, who then also ask them for an inspection tour of their main starships. These Atorthan inspection tours have been taking place since January 3rd, and up to now, only one star race that has been called upon to talk to the Atorthans has refused to meet them, the Irma. The Atorthan detachment has now repeatedly asked the Irma King Ra to attend meetings with them in the biosphere ship Viera, and for a Galactic Federation official inspection tour of their mothership, Avian One. The Irma have officially stated that they will not cooperate with any so-called Higher Federation detachment if it is represented by the Atorthan race, or by any other from Orion, and if all of their questions are not answered to their feline satisfaction. Questions that include who is sending them the Atorthans, for what reason, and who they are, as well as where, and how they can talk to them directly. King Ra has officially stated to the Atorthans that any further insistence on this subject will be met with the same answer, and any attempt to force them to comply will be seen and taken as an act of war against the Irma people. He also requests not to be bothered again with the same dubious Galactic Federation Atorthan nonsense, because he is busy with more important things, like his midday snooze. The unmovable and emotionless Atorthans have only answered back insisting on their request, and King Rua only answers back again, with his same inflexible demands. As for the Tejetan people, the Atorthan detachment has asked Queen Alanim to meet them at the Viera in person, as she is also the official representative and ambassador of the Alcyon Council here, of which the Tejetans are members. Queen Alanim has officially stated that she will not attend those meetings, in person, and will not attend them through remote presence either, and would only consider attending through a two-way video conference, through human-made screens and system, and only after she has reached a consensus with her colleagues at the Alcyon Council, and on board Starship Talika. Up to now, when I'm writing this report on the morning of the 10th of January, the Atorthan detachment has not replied to Alanim yet, and they have not requested an inspection tour on board Starship Talika either. As for the letter we published here in my channel, as well as all the other messages you have all been sending, there has been no response at all, and knowing how they act, I honestly don't expect them to answer at all, yet we know that the Atorthan support team, mainly from the Alfreton or Centauri race, do listen and monitor what our group shares, transmits and does. We know that they listen and then pass on a report of what we are doing and what we are all saying, to their Atorthan overlords. We have been informed that the second-in-command Atorthan, has fallen sick and is now delegating its job and schedule to other Atorthans in their support group, until its recovery. I do not say his, or her because Atorthans don't have genders, that's why I have no choice but to use the word, it. As for Talika, the repairs are well underway, although the estimate is that they will still take several weeks to be concluded, yet everything is under control here, and we are all good, healthy and in good spirits. This will be all for my present report. As always I will keep you informed of any further developments. As always, thank you for watching my Talika news video, and for liking, sharing and subscribing, I appreciate it a lot, and I hope to see you here next time. Take care. With much love, your friend. Marie Swaru.